All right, welcome everyone to today's webinar, Bovine Care Essential Topics for Any Agriculture Classroom. It is one o'clock p.m. Central, so we will get started. My name is Emily Klinsky. I am on the marketing team here at Reality Works. Presenting today, we have with us Jamie McIntosh, one of our product managers here at Reality Works. He has been on the Reality Works team for over nine years, and his topics cover um, student engagement, technology in the classroom, gaming, filling the skills gap, business education, and various agriculture and welding topics. So he's a fantastic resource for today's webinar. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and pass things over to Jamie. Thank you, Emily, for that. Thank you for um, taking the time, everyone, to um, uh, be here with us today for this webinar. Really appreciate you taking the time to do that. And really, our focus here today is looking at bovine care, um, but we also have a lot of other uh, kind of focuses that will be doing that as we're in a very unique time. Um, we are going to be recording this. So it is something that um, while recording, we will send this out to you so you can use again, um, as, as well as our presentation that we're doing today, we will also have that for you. So um, you can use that again and use some of these slides as you see needed. So um, just a few reminders as we get started here, we are in a Zoom meeting. So you should be seeing something that looks like this um, as you are watching this uh, webinar right now. And there should be a chat feature, um, a raise hand and a question and answer. So as you are going along, um, if you have questions, please feel free to put that in the chat area there or the question and answer area. Um, and that will allow us to answer those questions if we miss it right away while we're, why I am giving the presentation, um, we can then uh, talk about it later as well and, and get back to it. So um, with that being said, let's get started here today. So again, um, we feel that it is important to uh, keep social distancing as we are in this uh, world of a pandemic right now. So just a reminder that um, as we continue to try to help as much as we can, um, you the educator, um, it is important to continue to social distance and keep that um, going. So let's get started on some essential topics for any agriculture classroom. We're gonna start with ways to teach and learn. And we're gonna start with the teach part and we're gonna move to the learn part. So with this being said here, um, the teaching ideas for the classroom, again, 
Um, just want to share a few options that we have uh, for you, the teacher, and the teaching options that are out there. Now, we're in a world, and this is a good example of what we're doing right now of remote learning. Um, what I'm doing right now is what you might be doing in the fall. Uh, and, and the hope is that we will integrate and get our students back in the classroom, but there is a chance for remote lecture remote learning still to still be uh, kind of focused um, come the fall. Uh, now, there's other ways to also do different uh, teaching options and, and lecture and presentation slides, which you will also be seeing me do today, is another op option for you, both in the classroom and in the remote learning area. And so um, just going to keep this in the, the uh, forefront here as we look at different ways for you to teach, you to um, help your students learn, and kind of the, the different ideas that you have for there. Another one here is then incorporating the, the lecture and the PowerPoint presentation, which a lot of us do and, and know on a daily basis in the classroom, but then including activities. And what we're talking about today will we'll, um, hit on all these topics as well. And then um, finally, the last two are lecture, PowerPoint, activity, and hands-on learning. And then our final one is including a research element to that. So just to talk through, um, again, remote lecture is something that um, is in that remote learning world of how do you get your students to learn if you have to be social distance, if, if they're not in the classroom with you. Um, we will show some and talk about some ideas there, but that is one way that um, you can do that. And this is a prime example. What you're doing today being part of this uh, webinar is just that. It's a learning opportunity for you through this remote um, uh, learning option here. Now, other places that you can go with that, you know, is um, really making sure that while we're together and while you're with your students is to have a focus. Give them something to look at. Um, as you can see, you know, I'm in our um, area here, but if I was at uh, home at my desk, to have something in the, either on the table with me or in the, in the background where there's some sort of interactive piece that we might be able to use throughout the, the lecture or the demonstration. Um, students respond a lot too to questions and discussion uh, um, that they're working with. So if you have the opportunity to ask questions within your time and, and have them respond, those are all great opportunities for you to, to work with. Now, what we're going to share today is really kind of that lecture and presentation slide um, focus here, because what I'm doing is I'm kind of doing a, a lecture, I'm talking, and then we'll also have presentation slides as well, giving you the opportunity as the, um, the kind of student in this case to see what I'm talking about and to learn from that visual understanding, the presentation slides and what's going on there. Now, an activity is also a great way to add to that. And so, you know, today I have some of our products here, um, both our calf simulator, which we'll talk about and use a little later, and then also our um, cow model in our classroom set, which is the smaller version of our large cow model. And so by using a smaller version, and, and we have these as a uh, um, classroom sets of five, it is a manipulative that could be sent home and be used for students. Um, the other thing then is, again, not just an activity, oh, here's an activity you can do, but also now a hands-on learning piece. And that's that ability to touch, feel, um, focus in on, okay, the activity is showing me what I need to know and learn about the um, system. The hands-on learning is that, that next step then of, okay, here is um, me actually doing that, doing the activity that's there. And then finally, um, doing that research on top of it is having that activity, having the hands on, but then, okay, and, and almost not just research, but also that project based learning where, okay, go out and do the real thing, research and figure out what it is and how you can then do it. And some projects or research, anything from, you know, schedules for animals, for um, show projects for your animals or, or making um, different toys for dogs or, or for the local community that you're in, um, and then your projects that you might have as well. So lots of different things to think about there, but talking about these different options here, just getting you to start think about as, um, you know, one uh, uh, school year is over and one is about to begin, really kind of different options that you can be using. And we start with this here as a piece of the puzzle today, because as we go into the next slides here um, and talk through um, different uh, resources that we have, different opportunities that we have um, to, to help you as educators, um, what ways might work best for you? 
what ways are you uh, able to, to interact the best uh, for your own personal usage? And so um, again, we're using this kind of lecture and presentation slides at the same time, um, but there also are activities that we will show you that you can use, different hands-on learning opportunities as well as we go through. So let's talk about the ways now to teach and learn. Let's look at the learn side, um, some learning, uh, the essential care for bovine in the classroom, okay? And now, again, we're very aware when I say in the classroom, um, it may be something where the classroom is going to look different this, this fall. It might be in the, the classroom as your home and the student's home. That might be where the classroom is. It might be that you're bringing them in for a certain amount of times and then they have to go home. Um, and, and so how can we help in giving them understanding of that essential care? So we're going to be using cre uh, curriculum here that is featuring uh, curriculum in four different product areas that we, we have here at RallyWorks. We have our cow model, and really we have our large cow model, and then we also have our five pack of our small cow models as well. So um, those uh, two different options there give you, and, and we're focusing on digestion and reproductive systems in that world. We also have our bovine breeder, our artificial insemination technique um, is where we're going to focus there. Within our simulator of our bovine injection simulator, we're going to talk about the injection placement and the, the injection zone. And then with our calf simulator, which I have here in the room with me, we're talking about animal health assessment and then also uh, uh, esophageal feeding and, and focuses in, in those worlds. So. Um, today, let's start with some essential places that we want to work with to start with. And so we're going to hit right away with digestion um, and reproduction. Okay. So in this case, if you have our cow anatomy models, um, that would be a great place to start um, and, and use that if possible. Now, what you see on the uh, PowerPoint pre uh, presentation here is our large animal uh, cow model here. And so that large animal has all the different organs inside that can be opened up and taken out. Now, if you don't have that, we also have our animal stomach model. So that is a very uh, specific model that you can use um, as well. Um, the one that I have here, and I will um, uh, just show you a little bit um, uh, focused here is, with um, the, the one thing here with our um, uh, small cow model is all the pieces come apart. And so in this case here, I can open it up and be able to see inside, see the rib cage of, of um, our cow, be able to open this part up. And I already took out part of it here, but um, in this case, you have the, um, udder and you can open that up and be able to see the different uh, glands in the udder. Take out the lungs and open this all up and be able to show um, the different pieces here that are available to really kind of manipulate and see inside of the um, uh, uh, rumen system and, and be able to see the reticulum and the omasum, abomasum, and, and really focus on the different parts and how they move into that world. So giving students in our small models here, allowing our, your students to actually maybe even in the case of bring home with them and be able to um, do different activities with them while they're at home uh, versus here and uh, when you're in the classroom, being able to show the different pieces here. So we have the different um, uh, parts of our models here that allow the student to really touch and feel, see where things are um, and where things go. And that is, is part of um, this whole uh, kind of process in that sense. Um, but the other piece that we want to talk about is um, if you don't have these uh, uh, models, and this goes for all of our products, um, we do have, and we're going to talk about this in our resource center here, or resources area, we do have um, our uh, curriculum that is available for you online. And so we'll talk about that a little bit later in our resource section. So to talk about our um, uh, products here and talk about what you can do to really get into the essential basics and, and knowledge of um, these different systems is that within our curriculum, we go through and we talk through, we give slides about um, the different uh, uh, ruminant system. 
Now, in this case, you can see by having your students be able to then color code or follow how the food or, um, is, is transported through the ruminant system is very important. And so by color coding, have your students being able to um, follow along and make sure they know where each uh, where the food goes and what happens in the different four chambers of the uh, uh, ruminant system is very important. All right. We also then in our slide presentations dig deeper into um, the individual uh, um, areas of the ruminant. And so in this case, you have the ruminant reticulum. It talks through what each section is made up of, of, of what it does along the way within digestion. The uh, omasum and the avomasum, again, giving different uh, focuses here for you to be able to use um, with this and be able to help your students gain an essential knowledge of the bovine and again, the system that is involved there. All right. And then we also have um, ability, and this is what I was talking about a little bit earlier, is that it allows you to not only um, have uh, um, worksheets and able to do activities with your students to be able to go through and have them walk through where, what the different locations are. It also allows you to introduce and, and have them actually trace, draw, interact with the ruminant system, be able to see that. On our small cow model here, as I use it, is that then I can actually take the, the uh, uh, product cell and show them what is happening in each section. I can actually um, go through and say, okay, this is the ruminant, this is the reticulum, this is the omasum. Where are these different parts on here and why are they important um, in the whole overall feature of the animal itself? All right, talking about reproduction here, one of the things with reproduction, again, using our cow model, using that, but we also have a uterus model that we have. So if you wanna focus in on a more specific, the nice thing about the uterus model is our uterus model um, is life size. So it is a life size representation of the uterus of a cow, allowing you to be able to go through and be able to see, where are the, the uterine horns? How does that work with the ovaries? The cervix and the importance of the cervix and where the bladder is in location, be able to show the whole um, uh, big uterus model here um, for our uh, animals. And so in this case then, we again show and give you this. This is the curriculum here, allowing you to understand anatomy, things of, of, of anatomy. Um, another, uh, uh, piece of it here is to go through each part of that anatomy. What does it do? What is its function? How does it work? Being able to see why the cervix is important and what's going on in that world versus other parts of the body. Now, um, as you go through this then, and this kind of leads into our next section, is again, giving you some essential pieces for the classroom, allowing your students to have both um, the ability to see and, and understand the, the PowerPoint kind of um, uh, uh, the PowerPoints give this visual world, but the other piece of this is that the hands-on, allowing students to see. And when I say hands-on, it's really two points. It's something we got to be aware of is that there's the hands-on of the teacher, the demo ability here that you have, being able to show, okay, here is the, um, the, the location of different parts of the animal, all right? And then also allowing them to be able to, to um, show that and be able to see and find that as well. At the same time, we have ability for your students to have worksheets and, and activities to then be able to use. Going in and say, okay, here is the different parts of the reproductive system, but at the same time that hands-on bringing this in your classroom, now all of a sudden you can start working with the student and they can say, okay, here is the different features, here's the different parts. They can actually take it apart and say, okay, I see where, all right, from the small intestine, large intestine, it goes into the rectum, and that is a piece of um, the, the um, digestive tract, but right below that, there is where my reproductive tract is. Where is it location in, in coordination? Part of the cow um, and, and what's going on there and, and how do they all work together? Okay, being able to then see, okay, with that, the uterine horns, and why is that important? The cervix, why is that important? And we're gonna jump into that right now because next place that you can look at is in this idea of artificial insemination. 
When we look at artificial insemination, we have our bovine breeding simulator. In this case then, um, our bovine breeder is a demonstration tool, but it's also a hands-on learning tool for your students. Again, if you have one of these, that's great. If you don't, this would be a great place for you to be able to then um, kind of in, in our world that we're talking now, you can use it as a lecture piece. Um, as we are doing these uh, meetings right here, we also have the ability for you to um, be able to uh, video record. If you're doing Zoom, you're doing Teams, those kinds of things, you can record yourself. You can do these types of um, and show students how it's done using a laptop computer, using a webcam opportunities there as well. Now, if you don't have our products, this is also a place where you can still use our curriculum. We have all of our curriculum online and we'll um, show you where that is located um, in a little bit in our resource section, but it allows you then to be able to see the different curriculum and use that even if you don't have our products in that case. Now, some of the curriculum that we have here is um, our uh, focused area here, and this is in our, um, our PowerPoint slides and our curriculum side, is this idea of landmarks that you want to hit, areas that are important to you um, as you go through. So we have these slides that talk about locating the reproductive tract, how to remove feces in the, in the, um, in the rectum, so then you have an easier ability to be able to find the cervix, being able to put in the AI gun, going through the cervix and making sure that you can get to, to the places that the landmarks that you need to get to, and then getting through the cervix. And when you're in place for that, making sure that you deposit the semen in the correct location. The reasons of why it is important to um, deposit those uh, the semen in those location and what it does to the animal in the sense of um, being able to do pregnancy check and, and being able to make sure that you are um, actually using that uh, semen and really that cost analysis of, okay, yep, I was able to inseminate, I was able to then um, uh, get a calf out of this, allowing you to then be able to um, uh, show the, the benefits and the ability for your genetic code and all those things within AI reproduction. So again, these are tools here that we have that we want to be able to help with that and, and bring into the classroom. Because especially as we go forward in this next year, you're really questioning and looking and saying, okay, how can I get that? We may not, you may not be able to get to the farm or you may not be able to have the students be able to get to those different things, bringing them into the school, into the classroom, using the different products that they can then use. Or if they come in for a few days, they get to use it at that time. They get to um, uh, uh, try it. You can clean it off, very easy to uh, clean it off and then reuse again, allowing your students to get that understanding and that ability in that sense. Now, the last essential kind of focus that I want to also talk to you about is, um, or I'm sorry, we have two more, excuse me. So injections. So another one that we have is our bovine injection simulator. Um, this allows you to do a demonstration and do actual injections here. Um, and a lot of times it's something that in the classroom, um, bringing that animal in uh, the uh, is just not something that's feasible or being able to do multiple injections on one animal is just not um, uh, feasible as well. And so in this case, using our bovine injection simulator and the curriculum that goes along with it, showing where the injection site is, how that all works is also uh, very important here. So as we go, our bovine injection, this is great um, presentation slides here for you, allowing your students to understand where is that placement. Um, making sure that they're in the right um, area for both uh, um, uh, intramuscular and subcutaneous is very important and where and how much distance and, and uh, um, uh, um, amount of, of injection uh, that you can actually give to the animals that you are injecting. So we include things like injection dosage, all right, size and length of the, the needle, allowing students to understand, okay, how much that you can put in at one location, how many locations you need, depending on how many cc's of, of medicine or um, of hormone or whatever you, you're actually injecting um, is needed in that case, all right? Then also talk about, again, how to do a subcutaneous um, injection, how to do an intramuscular injection. And then we also have, again, different uh, um, 
uh, worksheets, quizzes, assessment pieces to get you to understand. And again, ultimately allowing students to have some hands on being able to do that. So in today's world, we can do that and we can do the PowerPoints, we can do the lecture, we can do the presentation um, via Zoom, via uh, remote learning. You can have your students in the classroom being able to learn and to be able to gain knowledge in that world. But both ways, allow your students to have that hands-on, that understanding. And if it can't be hands-on, it can be that visual interaction. And that's a really important piece, allowing students to have that visual interaction as well. Now, the last piece here, and this is where I'm excited about and it was jumping the gun a little bit, is our calf care. One of the things that we have, and it's here in the room with me, is our calf simulator, all right? Now, the whole purpose of this is really to help students understand and to care for the animal, the bovine, and essential care when an animal is most vulnerable, when they're a calf. And so in this case, um, we actually have our uh, calf model here, and it's sitting, um, and, and actually like laying down. And so that's one of the features that I wanted to kind of share with you here is that we have the calf simulator where it actually can sit or lay um, on the ground, allowing students to start to understand what the vulnerable state of calves could be. Now, in this case, our calf is, is here um, uh, uh, with me and it is in the kind of laying position. So then students can start to see, okay, why is it laying down? Is it too weak? Is it not getting enough food? Is there some sort of illness that it has? Giving them that kind of scenario and putting it into a place where they are able to kind of understand, okay, what's happening here and get the understanding of that. Allowing you to have a, a lot of different scenarios um, within uh, the use of, of a calf simulator that you can work with the students, have them be able to try to understand what's going wrong or what's going right. So. What we have here and what we're going to talk about this is just the calf care is health assessment, okay? Temperature, pulse, um, and then uh, respiration rate. So in this case here, I'm going to stand up and kind of show you a few features here is as it is sitting here, we have the ability for you to work on this and we have a curriculum that works with this as well. So in some cases here, um, as we go through our slides here, we can talk about temperature. Okay, what are the vital signs that are needed in a calf um, and, and then adult cattle? What are the methods that you use? What kind of thermometer? And then we actually can have students, okay, where would you do that? How would you do that? Where would you interact in that world? Now, at the same time, we have um, taking a pulse. Okay, now there's more uh, places to take a pulse, but it also allows you to manipulate and be able to use this. And in this case, um, where we have our our um, uh, a pulse ability here is we actually can um, have them feel for those areas. Where would I actually need to take pulse? Okay, I see I have that ability in that sense. Um, we have the, the legs here, so you can actually do it there and, and get to that place. Now, the pulse isn't pulsing in that case, but they can go to those landmarks and know what they're and where they're supposed to be um, working in that case. And then finally here, some of the things of lung sounds and respiration, okay? Where are they supposed to be um, uh, looking for those sounds? Where would they put a stethoscope? Where would they be listening for it? Would they be even using a stethoscope? Are there other ways to be able to look at and understand what's going on in the health assessment? All right. Now, in our animal as well, with that lung sounds, with some of those other things, we have different opportunities here where you can actually um, do uh, esophageal um, uh, tube feeding. So you can open it up, you can actually go through and be able to feel for the trachea and be able to feel for the esophagus and where am I going? What am I supposed to be doing in that case? All right, you're able to do ear tagging here. We also have um, um, down at the bottom here, the ability to um, do castration. So health assessment can go even deeper and, and, and into other areas of calf care. And so we have the ability where you can actually do a surgical castration. And so going into some of that as well um, helps it. Now, in our curriculum, 
we include um, things like health checklists. And so in this case, it allows the student to actually walk through a scenario where they have to go through the CAF itself and check through what's going on and, and if there are any health issues with that animal going through the temperature checking, going through some of those, seeing what's going on there. And they can use this as a simulator, being able to look and, and feel and understand that. So those are some of those um, learn and teach opportunities that some of our products and some of our curriculum can help with you. Now, where is, are these resources? So we have some um, resources to help you as you prepare. So first off, um, I want to talk about the use of videos. Now, we're in a video um, uh, uh, location here, a webinar that we're able to do that. You can create your own videos. That's one way that with Zoom, if you have a Zoom available, you can actually record them um, and create your own videos for your students. You can do demonstrations that your students um, would then be able to go and watch and learn from. Now, we have our own videos as well. And we have um, this uh, and we can show, uh, show you our videos on our own YouTube site. Um, YouTube is a great opportunity to go out and view a lot of different videos. We have our own and this one that I'm showing is the ins and outs using simulation to teach bovine artificial insemination. We have our own uh, uh, um, video series where you can actually learn about, okay, how do you artificially inseminate? Allowing your students to be able to see that. Help, helping you to learn about these different things. So videos is a great resource for you to be able to use and be able to learn from those. Our products on our website um, also have little videos showing what they do and what they can be used for. Now, the other big piece here that I wanna talk about is the free curriculum resources that we have. And we're gonna talk about the free curriculum that goes with our products first. And then later on, I have a little bit more free curriculum when we look at um, exploratory um, careers within agriculture. So the first thing um, for this free curriculum, and again, we will also email this to you so you can go and be able to get to this location, but we have a COVID-19 response where all of our curriculum for all of our products is free to you online where you can go and grab and to use that all right now is the time to get that free curriculum as the before the school year starts before um uh you get started to be able to see what resources are we giving away so then you can use that you can take what you want put it right into the lessons for this fall so for this, all you have to do is on our website, realityworks.com, you go here, you scroll down and there is a COVID-19 response. All you have to do where it says learn more is you click on that. When you click on that, it is going to bring you to our resources area. In this location, this is a great place and we're gonna talk about two things here. We have our, our webinars, which all of the webinars that we're using will be located there but um, two spots here, and we're gonna actually jump down. We have a free lesson plans, and this is lessons on career exploration. We're gonna talk about that in just a few minutes. We're gonna jump down a little bit farther where it's program resources, using Real Career uh, Reality Works products um, and access the curriculum. And we have guides and curriculum. In this case, all you have to do is click on the curriculum. And as soon as you click on that, it's gonna bring you to all of the curriculum that we have for all of our products. Now, again, if you don't have our uh, small cow classroom set, all right, you can still get the um, uh, animal model uh, curriculum for it, but you won't have the actual model to use it for. So you want to purchase that to be able to use in the classroom. You can still use the curriculum, uh, but you won't have the model sets. And so if you want the simulator, if you want our CAF simulator, you need to get the CAF simulator, but the curriculum, as you can see, is going to be there um, for you underneath swine and, um, uh, uh, sorry, bovine and swine skills. Now, in this case, our, um, if I click on the bovine breeder AI simulator downloads, it comes in here. And then all of a sudden, as you can see, we have quick start guides, we have curriculum, um, and we have a certification thing. Now, when it opens up, and this is an example here for our calf care 
curriculum here. When you open up our calf care curriculum, all right, it's going to come and it's going to show the calf care curriculum and it's going to have the slide presentation. So when you click on either one of them, so if I click, click on curriculum, it's going to bring you right to a PDF link allowing you to then um, download the curriculum. It also is going to give you a link where it will give you all of, if you go to the slide presentations, all of our slide presentations going over things like animal health assessment, uh, castration and navel care, um, esophageal feeding, uh, tail vein injections and blood draws. Those are the different things that it will be going over and showing and giving to you. All you have to do is click on those and it will give you that curriculum for free. So this is that resource that allows you to open up and have and look at all of our curriculum and then be able to take and grab and use PowerPoints, use presentations. And going back to earlier, this is where then you can start looking at how do I want to present in my class? Do I want to do lecture? Do I want to do uh, presentation slides? Do I want to do group discussion? Do I want to do activities, um, hands-on learning? Where am I going to go and what I'm going to do? So as we kind of um, come to the last thing then, we have some other things here. And this is our tips on some so we real life scenarios in agriculture education. So learning options for your students. Another area here that we're gonna talk about is that world that I talked a little earlier about is the agriculture career exploration. Getting students to start thinking about, okay, how does my life, when I'm, where I'm going, what do I want to do within agriculture? Where is it that is be I'm best suited? So that agriculture career exploration um, option really allows them to learn about the different careers in, in agriculture. The next one is scenario cards. We have scenario codes, cards, workplace scenario cards uh, um, in the agriculture, horticulture, vet um, tech, and then also leadership and employability skills. So all of these are scenarios allowing you to be able to get your students to start thinking about real world situations and real life opportunities. So starting with the career exploration, all right, on our website, realityworks.com, we have free lesson plans. You go there and our agriculture education um, uh, agriculture career exploration, excuse me, includes lessons on careers in animal science, plant science, agribusiness, food production and processing, natural resources, and then the other kind of um, areas, other areas that are not included in those, um, so they can see those as well. Now, in this case, our career exploration includes worksheets, PowerPoints, different activities for your students to do, um, allowing them to go anywhere from, okay, what are the types of jobs to how would I get a job? What kind of jobs am I looking for? Um, you can see here is they include things like, how do you write a cover letter? How do you introduce students to the different types of plant system uh, positions that you might be working on? All of this is allowed, again, free content for you to be able to go in and, and, and uh, uh, see that. The other area that helps with real world skills and getting students to really start to think is scenario cards. Now, we have a focus on different workplace scenario cards in the agriculture world. These are scenario cards allowing you and your students to be able to really start asking the questions of, okay, if I'm in this real world situation, how do I react? How do I get to what I need to know and to understand before the real thing happens? So we have them in a lot of different areas and most of them, and this is showing our employability focus here, most of them, and they have different opportunities uh, activities and opportunities for your students. Things like a five minute icebreaker activity where students will be asked questions and, and can do um, little scenarios. Um, journaling activities, pre and post assessment options for you as well. These are things again as cards allows you to be able to bring it to your students, have them then work together, interact, trying to answer um, real life situations. So give an example of employability one, responsibility is the employability skill that we're talking about. In this case, um, you're on a farm and you're realizing that there's a, a few of the calves are having some problems. There's some lethargicness and they're not interested in eating. All right, now this ties directly into calf care and using our calf simulator for that to kind of be able to say, okay, this is your animal. What are you gonna do? What are the things you're looking for? Ah, then 
jumps right back into health, health assessment. Do I need to do that? So again, some points to consider for you and some things for you to work with um, in this world is now all of a sudden you're in this world with your coworkers, your boss, the calves themselves, and questions to start asking, all right? Did the calves start to have some health issues? Um, why have these uh, been reported? Have they been reported? What could be some is issues? What could be the problem? Who do you need to talk to? What do you need to report? How do you report those things? All these different um, questions that then bring students into real life situations. And all of the questions and all of our uh, uh, scenario cards have been created by industry leading experts, by industry uh, um, educators, by uh, people involved in those separate areas. So we, are, we have vet tech, we have horticulture, we have um, agriculture. These are all different scenario workplace cards that you can get um, to really start looking at and asking students to start looking at real world situations as well. Um, so with that being said, um, we've gone over kind of the teach and learn, some ideas for you to get that essential knowledge for um, uh, um, bovine in any type of ag classroom through our curriculum, through our products. Um, then we kind of went into some where our resources are, allowing you to be able to have that resource there. And then talking to you um, about the um, uh, real world situations from our free resources again in some of those career exploration and then also looking at um, your students and being able to say here are scenarios and how they work. Now a few things again to review here where can you get this? Well in this case you can go to the classroom resources at realityworks.com uh, and be able to get that. Now just to walk through that again you go to the COVID, to our website, rallyworks.com. You go to um, COVID-19 response, you hit the learn more. When you get there, it brings you into resources and ideas for continued learning. Again, this is where the free lesson plans, and you can see right here, it says free lesson plans, looking for lesson plans on career exploration. That's where you'll wanna go for the agriculture career exploration lessons. All you do is you click on that free lesson plans. It will bring you right to that. We have other career explorations as well, but agriculture is uh, right there at the top. Then if you're looking for our curriculum, right below it in the program resources, we have guides and curriculum. You click on that and it brings you right into our guides and curriculum and then deeper in to be able to find the downloads of the curriculum itself. Now, another great thing that we have right now going on is we have a virtual trade show booth. If you're interested in any of our products and what we have, you can also go to our website and there is a trade show virtual exhibit hall that we have. And you can see kind of from the background here is that you can look at all of our products. You can see what each product is. You can go to its web uh, page and be able to understand what you're getting, what's involved, how it works. And this is a great place where if you go there, you can register to win a voucher for $250 off your purchase. So really would suggest, hey, go sign up for that. If you win that, that's $250 off any type of product that we have. Um, and some of our products are, are um, in uh, you know, different ranges, but uh, that just gets you to um, being able to get that um, much easier with that, that uh, voucher. So use that as well. With that being said, um, we are now kind of in this uh, uh, place here where um, we will open it back up to um, uh, looking for any type of questions. If there's any questions that were had, love to answer any of those questions that you may um, be um, looking for. So if there wasn't something I didn't um, maybe answer your question you're looking for, please write in there in your chat or your question answer area. We'd be happy to answer those questions. Or if there's something else that maybe is a little confusing or you want more information on, please do that as well this time and we'd be happy to um, answer any of those questions. At the same time, if there aren't any questions and we don't have any, I wanna say thank you for your time. Thank you for taking this time. Um, uh, again, go to our website, realityworks.com. That is where our free resources are. That's where you can see our products and start thinking about how do you implement some of that bovine essential into um, your classroom. So um, with that, 
I'm not seeing any uh, questions at this time. So want to say thank you for taking the time um, for uh, uh, being with us. If you have some questions, um, please. Oh, and here we go. We got a few questions. Um, uh, um, so one of the questions is animal models, do they have organ system? Yes. Um, so it has the animal models all have the organs inside and, and have um, all the different, uh, well, really all the different uh, anatomical systems in, in uh, this um, whole kind of overview of the animal. So the, the different systems from your uh, reproductive system, your digestive system, your nervous system, um, all the different systems are right there for you um, and are part of that as well. So um, that is uh, kind of there for you as well. Um, so I don't see any other questions, but if you do have questions, feel free to keep on at, um, um, uh, asking them or, or, or sending them forward. We'd be happy to, to um, answer them for you. Um, again, the big things here is um, we, you know, if you have other questions, you can also use our information at realityworks.com or call us about that. Another big thing there is everything that we have here, we will, we have recorded and we will send to you. So you can um, uh, use that um, uh, as well. Um, your, your curriculum uh, tally. Okay. I think the question is, is does our curriculum work with um, kind of the standards or government, it says government curriculum, but I'm, I'm assuming that's asking of uh, kind of the standards. So all of our curriculum is standards based. Um, and so it fits uh, with that and can be used that all of our curriculum, all of our products are um, fit really well, right in with uh, Perkins funding as well, as well as general funding. Um, but you can use it with all of those different things. And again, it's all standard based. So it all, it all hits the standards uh, very well um, in that world. Um, so you can use that uh, as well. So all right, not seeing any other questions. I really thank you for your time. Uh, please um, feel free to check out our website to get some of those um, uh, pieces. So with that said, um, thank you and have a great day.